Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys through just how straightforward and easy it is to set up your Google Wi-Fi mesh network. We've already done a hardware unboxing for this device and we have a software overview and review coming very very soon along with of course our comparison of Google Wi-Fi with Synology's mesh system with Synology Router Manager. At the moment these two are probably two of the most popular mesh systems out there for those that know their way around networking and are looking for just something that will do the job to the best of its ability. But today, let's just focus on how easy it is to set up Google Wi-Fi in preparation for our comparison content coming soon. So the first thing you need to do is obviously make sure at least one of your Google Wi-Fi little mesh pods are plugged in and ready to go. Once you've got it plugged in with a network connection going towards the internet, so your modem or internet service provider router running into that WAN port on the Google Wi-Fi node, make sure you've got it up and running and the blue light is showing. On top of that, you need to install the Google Wi-Fi application available for iOS and Android. So let's go into that application now. So right now, I presume it's going to start setting up our Wi-Fi connection. I've got three nodes set up in my local environment, uh, and I've signed in to my Google account on this device. We're using that disposable account that we've used for a few other videos, but for now, we're gonna let Google um, set this up, and we're gonna not share any of the information because we're stingy. Next, we'll click Next, and it will find Google Wi-Fi devices in your environment. Now, I have three of these in my office right now, for later on when we do the speed and coverage tests in our environment. We're going to allow it to search and let's see if it finds it in the network environment or via Bluetooth. I believe this device does support Bluetooth 4.2 but as it says it's found the point there and we can see right now that it's found all three of the mesh points in my network and the one that I've connected to the internet is called CBAC0 so it's that one in the middle and that was a quick test for me to see which one it would select and it found the one that I was closest to. Excellent. Click next. And it's asking us to now scan the QR code on the rear of the device. So let's do that now. Can I allow that camera? And now it's found the code. So we've got the code there. Excellent. And now we're going to connect to that Wi-Fi point. After that, we're going to start adding more Wi-Fi nodes, and we're going to say that this one is found in an office. So we're going to let that be in that office area. We have to now name our Wi-Fi, so I'm going to call it Google Wi-Fi, because I'm really not imaginative. As a password, we are just going to put the word password, but we might actually spell it correctly. So now it's letting us know that it does have um, Wi-Fi cloud storage. And again, you if you are using stuff like Google um, Google's own drive and stuff like that, you will see a lot of the um, advantages of this. But for now, we're not going to utilize that in this particular part of things. And of course, there are extra advantages there, but we'll let that get turned on there for our Wi-Fi network. And we'll probably go over that in a great deal more detail in our Google Wi-Fi software review. Now, first thing, I'm aware that Google Wi-Fi has been around for a while. It's not exactly new, but the reason I'm revisiting it now is because of the popularity and the price drop in mesh networks. And Google Wi-Fi, despite the fact that it came out, you know, early last year in 2018, it's still popular today, even despite its rather hefty £330 price tag. So now we've set up our Wi-Fi network, that node, and I believe it's going to start connecting those other nodes right now. So we've got two more Wi-Fi points, and I'm going to tell it right now to get those all meshed together. And I can tell you right now that that is easily the fastest adding of other node points I've ever seen. So now it's asking if um, how far away these devices are. It's asking if it's just letting us know about the distance, about what's the best way to use them. And right now, I'm, I've got all of these mesh points in this one environment, one office right now. The reason I'm doing that is later on I want to test the self-healing. If I turn one of these mesh points on, move it to another room and turn it on again, the hope is that it will automatically find the original network and be added completely on its own without any intervention from me. So for now, we're setting these up in a much clo closer environment so we can test that self-healing later. So again, we've plugged in all the Wi-Fi points and we're gonna say that one of them is a kitchen. 
and it's going to find both of those devices no doubt and then we're going to have to scan that bottom code again so we're going to say it's that one there the one ending in a0 and do you know what i'm going to skip forward to me adding these other two so when they're all connected and as we're finalizing here we've added the next mesh point and again it's been very very quick indeed for the more astute just look at the clock at the top left of my phone here to see just how quick this installation has been um, and there you go it's all done so it's going to ask us to review our network and just see what we've done and how we've added it and we can add other networks and information too but for now i'm going to say that's finished and we can get you know wi-fi updates and email updates to say if something's wrong with our net, uh, network or more but for now i'm going to say no to that and now it's told us our wi-fi network is ready and that is how easy and straightforward it is to set up a google wi-fi network using google wi-fi and a mesh system in my next video i'm going to be going through a number of the settings and features of google wi-fi as well as reviewing this app and what you can do with your brand new mesh network and then of course we've got the comparison with synology coming very soon but otherwise that will be an email from google no it's not it's hot uk deals why not but otherwise thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this if you've got any questions do stay tuned for the follow-up content on google wi-fi and how it compares with other mesh systems out right now Cheerio, don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.